Hello and welcome. I'm on doing a triple unboxing video, so you hopefully you watch these all together. Suffering from a hangover. I just need to keep retelling really this as it was three o'clock when I got in last night. Messy times. Um, ooh, Amazon Prime. Um, okay, so I've just done the unboxing for Voodoo and Airheads retro vintage um, video shop posters. They're on the floor. I'm trying not to make too much mess. Now, this was something that was on Zavi and I hummed and hard about ordering it and I was like, hmm. And then I thought about it and I was like, hmm. And then this came out, so I was like, hmm. But then, but because that came out in the order, I got cancelled. Um, I had money left to buy this. So it's a buying ban, but it's a buying ban by default. I keep looking off the camera just to justify it to myself in the reflection. It's a default. So the video shop posters, was just, I just couldn't resist it. And this is something I had now. I've always had the soundtrack. There we go, how wet was that? That has seen better days. Big fan of Scream when it came out, VHS. Even watched it in school. I mean, that does not make any sense. Why would you watch Scream in an English? You know, we didn't have film studies and stuff like that. But here, yeah, motion picture soundtrack, it is pretty trashed. But apart from stuff like Youth of America and Whisper and Red Right Hand, which had some good stuff on Don't Fear the Reaper, um, I always like the... Um, Marco Bella Remy's um, score, Trouble in Woodstock and Cindy's theme. I always liked that. So obviously this is just obviously whispered of the scream and had some really good good songs on it. You know what I mean? I kept it. I did have the second one, but it just didn't survive. You know, it'll be the disc might appear or the fragments of the box will be around. But this should be the score. Now I like the artwork, and I was ten. As I say, I was humming and hawing about it on Zavi. They just fucking disappeared. Spot a hurricane rain is like, oh yeah, sometimes like the Blade Runner. I'm sure the new Blade Runner has disappeared. Uh, sometimes if you don't get a pre order or whatever, it just disappears. And I was like, right, okay. It's uh, let's have a look. I should have opened it this with a knife or something because it's about ah, rip the fuck out of your finger. Oh, bitch. So, it's definitely the screen final. It's screen one and two. I totally forgot about that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, at first glances, this look almost looks like it's been rewrapped. Um, this was ridiculously cheaper than Zavi, and I mean ridiculous by about 19 quid. So we've got Ghostface on the front cover. His mouth into a telephone, which is quite cool. We even got bloody hell. Look at that. I mean, we've got a Drew Barrymore hanging from a fucking tree. Like wow. So on the back, um so it's just one one vinyl. Side one is scream, side two is scream two. So the six tracks. So it's not an expanded score or anything actually. So hmm. It's produced by Mark or Bella Remy, so again I'm up for that. Um I did think there was a double vinyl to be honest with you. Um so we've got Cindy's theme tune, Trouble in Woodstock. It's a quick maths, but like side one's only about 20 minutes worth of music. Track nine on um, side two is 46 minutes, 46, 46 seconds. So let's have a look at it. Let's say it's good for the collection. It's a very flimsy plastic. Get yourself to HMV and buy yourself some um, good old, uh, I better not be pulling anything when I can't fully reach. Get yourself some good old vinyl protections. So this looks, it comes, well, it might be even second hand this, because it's pretty battered out of the box. But yeah, I'm happy just to get it. Um, inside. Wow, it's fucking coloured vinyl. It wasn't meant to be coloured vinyl, it's meant to be a black vinyl. Wow, right, okay, so it's not gatefold. No art cards. Hello. No art cards or um, it's a gatefold art cards with digital code, but it's a coloured vinyl, which I'm sure it was meant to be black. Look at that. It's like ghostly white. It's like Casper white. That. It's, it's white. It's got like a swirl to it. That is lush. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm over the moon with that actually. Did think it was a double. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the music. That's pretty cool there as well. The artwork, hang on, telephones, wires and all the guts hanging out. A bit like Wasted Treads. 
Um, but yeah, actually numbered as well. It's engraved in the inner ring there. But it doesn't look like there's much music on it, but again, fan of Scream. I don't own it on Blu-ray. I don't think I want it on Blu-ray. No, I'll have to pick up the box set. Don't need tenner. I've got the fourth one. But if you look around, I'll have one, one to three on VHS still. I always thought it was well. I always thought it was cool that Scream One was white, and the artwork, and then they redid it for the they went black for the second one, didn't they? Added the big red two, and then Scream Three tried to wrap it up. But yeah, I'll see you in the outtakes. Here's a quick outtake for Scream. I just ran away. Are you okay, Pudding? Nope. What just happened? Here's an outtake for you. This one will be on camera. Yep. <laughs> yeah, shit myself. Had to run to the camera. Right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And now. Yeah.